you've been talking to or maybe even spending time with a man, but things aren't really going the way that you want them to. How do you know when it's time to kind of let go of this guy and stop pushing, stop investing, stop trying to make things happen with him? So hello, my name is Matthew Coast and welcome to Commitment Connection. Today we're going to be talking about when to stop texting a guy. You want to look for these signs to determine whether you should just stop, just stop texting him. So number one is he goes a really long time without texting you back. So maybe he doesn't text you back for days or a week or even longer. If he starts going even longer than that, you definitely, you might want to start rethinking what's going on here, right? He's he's doing that because he's not really that interested. He's not really that engaged. He's got other things going on in his life and you're not a priority. You're not special. You're not valuable, more valuable than the things, the other things that he has going on in his life to him, right? I'm not talking about your value as a human being, but to him, he doesn't see you as somebody that he's, at least at this stage of his life, trying to spend time with and talk to and hang out with. And he's just kind of like, yeah, about you. And so you don't want a guy who's about you. You want a guy who is absolutely like, yes, I really love this chick and she's so awesome. And I don't want to mess things up with her. And I want to push things forward and have a real relationship. And in order, and if he's, if he thinks that way about you, he's going to respond to you, respond back in a decent amount of time. And so that is what you want. So sign number two is that he avoids hanging out with you. And so with this, he's making excuses and maybe you're like kind of hinting that you want to hang out, but he kind of like makes these excuses like, oh, I've got this going on or I've got that going on or, or you have to kind of push to make him want to hang out, right? You're like, let's meet up, you know, like, come on, like do something here, right? Or even worse, you actually have to set up a date in order for him to go out with you. You don't want a guy who you have to force to go and hang out with you. You want a guy who's excited about you, who's excited to meet up, who wants to meet up, who's trying to push you to go out and meet up with him. And you're like reluctant, but okay, I'll go, right? No, you want you want a guy who's really interested in you. And if he's really interested in you, he's going to push to hang out with you. So number three is he only wants to meet up just at the very last minute. So why do men do this? The reason that guys do this is because you are more of a last minute convenience to him than a first minute priority. So, you know, he has other things going on, right? And, and you know, you're kind of like this last minute thing where it's like, oh, let's just go hang out. I've got nothing else going on. So maybe you and I can hang out tonight and it's this last minute and I didn't say anything and I've been busy with other stuff all week and I didn't really want to talk to you and, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. You want to have a guy who wants you to be a some kind of priority in his life, at least at the very least enough of a priority that he can message you a few days beforehand or more to set up a date with you. I mean, come on, who's just waiting until the very last minute? It's crazy. It's craziness. You don't want to deal with that. It's just going to drive you crazy and you don't want to be driven crazy. I know it. I know you don't want to be driven crazy. Number four is that he only wants to hook up with you. So if he's just contacting you for like late night booty calls or or let's say that that he he doesn't want to let anybody else know that you guys are together or hanging out so you're kind of like his dirty little secret and whenever you guys do see somebody that you know he's like oh this is just my friend over here or, or whatever right he he doesn't end up taking you on real dates or anything like that that means that he's just looking to hook up and have fun and nothing more. You want a man who is proud to have you in his life, who wants to be with you for you and not just to hang out with you, just to hook up with you and have fun with your body, right? You want him to actually authentically and genuinely like you as a human being. All right, sign number five 
is that he never initiates contact with you. So you want a man who reaches out because he wants to communicate with you. You don't want to have a guy who's not messaging you, not contacting you, not figuring out what's going on with you. You want a guy who wants to see how you're doing and he wants to meet up with you and he wants to be with you and he wants to spend time with you and he wants to talk to you and he's just eager to have that connection and he's like, oh, is this too soon to message her? And he's thinking about it and he's investing in his mind and emotionally and he wants to talk to you and so he initiates contact whenever he gets a chance and that's what you want. You want a guy who's trying to reach out as much as he can and connect with you and keep the conversation going because he really likes you and he wants to have you in your li- in his life and you're special to him. That's what you want. You don't want to settle for anything less. Sign number six is that he doesn't pay for anything. So you don't want to be with a man who's using you for money. And I get women who come to me all the time and they're like, well, I'm paying for all of his stuff, but... It's because he really, really needs it right now. And it's and I get it, right? It's the, the wounded bird syndrome, right? You see this guy and you want to help him out and and you want to, to take care of him, make sure he's okay and get him back on his feet. And here's what the problem is, though, is that if you're helping him out, you're actually usually enabling men, right? So he needs to become a man and man up and be strong and be confident and take care of his life and take care of his financial problems in his life. And if you are taking care of all of his financial problems for him or you're paying for everything or any of that kind of stuff, then what you're doing is just enabling him to stay a child. And you don't want him to stay a child and you know, he needs to start stepping his game up in order to, uh, you know, actually be a fulfilled adult in his life. And if you're just enabling him, he's never going to do that. And he's, it's really, really, I've seen women who have been in situations like this for years where they're just kind of giving everything to a man and it ends up being exhausting and they feel like they're being used. And it's just really not a good situation. You want a man who can at the very, very least take care of himself and his own financial needs. All right. And sign number seven is that he doesn't treat you like you're special. He treats you like a friend or he doesn't ever try to make you happy and you don't feel like you're a better person when you're around him. You don't feel like you're special and loved and unique. You want a man who values you, who values you highly, who cherishes you, who adores you, who looks at you and thinks this woman is so different and special and unique and unlike all the other women that I've ever met in my life and I want her to be in my life and she's, you know, I don't want to lose her. I don't want to let her go. I want her because she's so special and unique and different and amazing. And the only way that he's going to feel that way is if he's investing and moving things forward. And that's what you want. And if a guy's not doing all these things, then it it's probably time to cut him off and start seeing other guys. There are some ways that Uh, you know, some challenges that you might be having where if you're, if you're messaging a guy and he's not really investing or he's not really responding, there are some ways to get a guy to start responding back to you. And it's by sending him the right kinds of messages instead of the wrong kinds of messages. Cause I get women all the time and that, that I'll work with and I'll look at their text message history and it's just, it's just like, you know, it's like they're, they're just like, Hey, or they say something really boring and they're wondering, why a guy's not responding to him. And so if you really want to know how to connect with a guy uh, through text message in a way that makes him want to chase you and pursue you and invest in you so that he'll start thinking that you're special and different and unique and want to hang out with you and have a lot of fun with you and think that you are just the most amazing special woman that he's ever had in his life, what you should do is check out my irresistible texts. If you want to check them out, just click the button on the right hand side of this video to go check out my irresistible texts right now.